Foundation Fighting Blindness presents Beacon Story, Becca Myers, in partnership with the Allergan Foundation. Paralympian Becca Myers begins her swim training at the Meadowbrook Swim Club in Baltimore, Maryland. This world is not built for people with disabilities in a sense of deafness and blindness. Growing up, I was always that kid wearing big glasses and then I had two cochlear implants with wires down my back. Like, I was the geeky kid. So I got picked on. Becca is a six-time Paralympic medalist and world record holder with three gold medals, two silver, and one bronze at Rio 2016. Over time, as I fell more and more in love with swimming, I became known as Becca the swimmer, not Becca the deaf blind girl. So that was very nice that swimming gave me that opportunity to find my identity. Becca was born with Usher syndrome, affecting her vision, hearing, and balance. I was born profoundly deaf. I have progressive eyesight loss, and I have severe balance issues. She's currently training for the next Paralympic Games in Tokyo, Japan. I wear two cochlear implants that allow me to hear, but when I take them off, I can't hear anything. I have progressive vision loss due to retinitis pigmentosa. It's like tunnel vision. It gets smaller and smaller. It's like looking life through two straws, so it's like that's how much I can see right now, and eventually it will get smaller and smaller. And then I have severe balance issues, so I think that's why I fell in love with swimming, is that it doesn't require me to really use my balance that much, so I just feel free in the water. And then with my balance, Birdie helps a lot. When she guides me, I can hold onto her harness and she gives me stability. Birdie is Becca's seeing eye dog, her partner in crime, who travels with her everywhere. I went up to the seeing eye and I lived on campus for a month and I trained with her. They matched her with me based on my lifestyle. Birdie guides Becca safely around the pool. So they knew I was on the move. I was going to competitions, you know, swim meets, college. I was going back to college that fall. So they knew I had to have a calm dog. So they matched me with Birdie. She likes to sit off to the side of the pool. She likes to sit on deck. She likes to make sure that she can still see me. And she just watches me go back and forth, back and forth. Becca is optimistic about finding treatments and cures for blinding retinal diseases, like RP. I have a lot of hope in the future of research and gene therapy because I believe in science so much. Take, for example, I was born profoundly deaf. And today, I wear two cochlear implants that allow me to have a conversation with you clearly. And I'm not missing a beat whatsoever. So I, I have a lot of faith in technology and I know that one day there will be a cure. What motivates me today is that I want to be a role model for that little eight-year-old girl. Show her, as well as other kids, that yes, you can do this. You will be okay. You can find a sport, a passion, art, music, and you can thrive. Don't give up. For more stories like Becca's, and to see how you can help, visit fightingblindness.org.